Hello everyone, welcome to Elira's Treasure. On this channel, we will be talking about skincare and beauty products, unboxing, fashion try-ons, product reviews, and the whole nine yards. So if you are not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell for when I post new videos. Now, before I get into today's video, let me just start by wishing everyone a happy new year. I hope we all have a prosperous 2023. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this video. the Christmas holiday, I found out that one of my favorite companies was having a massive sale. Everything was 50% off. So I already know a lot of you guys know the company in question and that company is Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place mostly for their eyeshadow palettes. So when I found out that Juvia's was having this huge sale, I had to go and purchase some eyeshadow palettes to add to my collection. You know, it's the new year and you know, I had to add some new colors to blend in with what I already have. So I will be unboxing these colors today to show you what I got. Now I already opened the box, the original package, but I still have to show you guys because I'm really excited and I really love the colors that I got. So the first one is one of their smaller packages. And this one is the chocolate eyeshadow palette. I mean, like, come on now. Who doesn't like chocolate? Everybody loves chocolate. So I had to get me one of this. And let me show you the color. If you don't already have it, let me show you the color that I got. It's kind of small. It's more on the smaller side. But hey, I love the colors. And again, this is how it looks. And this is it right here. I love this color. And what I like about this mostly is, you know, all the nude colors. And this is giving me like the Nubian, you know, kind of vibe. And this new year, I want to try something different. I am so done with all the bright colors and stuff. I just want to try more neutral colors, you know, more toned down colors because I don't know, like for some reason, I am just done with all the bright colors, okay? So I just want to try something new and I love these colors. So originally it will be $15, but I got it for only $7.50. You cannot beat that, but I love the colors, you know? And like I said, I'm trying to tone it down a little bit and everybody loves chocolate. So that's from the chocolate collection. The next one that I have here is the Warrior Palette. This is a Warrior 2, I believe, Warrior 2 palette. Oh, I love the packaging, you know. This is very pretty, very bold. I love this, you know. And I'm, I'm like, for some reason, you guys, I'm so done with all the bright colors. I don't know, for some reason, I think at a certain age, you just, you know, need different things. And so... I still love my bright lipstick, but I will tone it down on the eyes. So I am so excited because this is a great um, purchase that I made. So again, it's like this. And these are the colors. We have the, um, let me see. I cannot pronounce these names, you guys. I will try. But all the colors um, has name, even the ones that I showed earlier. So this one is Yodif. And I like this one because, you know, it's an easy blending color. The first one on here is a very easy uh, blending color. And then the next one is called um, Kofuru. Kofuru is the middle one on the top. And then the other color is called Waz Wazana. I'm sorry with the pronunciation, but I think that's really close. Wazana. I don't know, but I think these are Nigerian names. Because I think the, the lady who owns, you know, Juvia's is a Nigerian. So it could be some kind of um, Nigerian tribal names or stuff like that. The second rule, we have Dura right here. And then we have Sama. 
and then chimata all right so i mean this is it you guys i'm not gonna tie my tongue by calling all these names but you know it is what it is these are really cute i've been trying to find some kind of black that is very pigmented so i love that about you know this collection so that's what i was going for like everything i wanted was to be toned down and that's what i got so this one was ten dollars i got it half off because of the sale and originally it is twenty dollars again another beautiful color um, the last one that i have here is the warrior palette so that one was the warrior two and this one is just the warrior palette so i guess this one came out before the warrior two so that means I did not get the Warrior 1. Maybe I did see it, but I didn't like the colors. Or maybe it was sold out already because they be going out really big. Like a lot of their products, mostly with the seal, it was sold out. I was just lucky to get what I got. So the last one I have here is, like I said, the Warrior. Again, look at this packaging. It is so vibrant, like so beautiful. I love this. It is so ethnic. I love this. I don't know if it's the same person, but this is very ethnic, very strong, very bold. I love the cut, the necklace and everything. It almost feels like when you wear it, you have to be that strong, uh, bold, brave warrior, you know, kind of woman, you know. And then this color is very pretty. Oh my God. So again, they have a lot of brown in here, you know, all the nude colors. And I really love this. I really love it. It's very pretty. All the colors have a different name in there and they are very beautiful so that's what i got the three colors um i just needed something as i stated earlier to add to my collection and something a little toned down because a lot of my palettes have a lot of bright colors in there and i'm just not feeling the bright colors anymore i don't know i just think it's it's not me anymore i just want something toned down more mature more you know the whole nine yards but I am not saying that I would no longer do bright colors now. I might, but I just, I'm just trying something new for 2023. And I have three colors, three palettes to work with. So that's really good. Now, what I have on my eyes today is one of the most luxurious eyeshadow palettes that I've ever gifted myself. And is the most expensive eyeshadow palette that I have in my collection. And I just felt like I deserve it. At least, you know, every now and then you can, you know, get something for yourself, you know, after you work hard and all that stuff. So I am wearing a Pat McGrath um, Mothership palette. And I just play around with the colors and stuff. You know, I'm not... A professional makeup artist or anything but i just play around with colors um i'll show you guys how it looks with this on i hope i'm able to have 2020 vision or something because this is the first time you guys this palette is 128 dollars i did not get it on sale it is still on the website it is the original price but you know it is what it is. It's nice and everything, but is it all that? Honestly, I am not a professional makeup artist, so I really don't know. I mean, the colors are beautiful and all, but I don't know. I am not sure if it is all that. I don't know. But um, anyway, so this is the packaging right here. It looks like this. And this one is called... um. The Mothership, I'm trying to see which uh, one. All right, so this one is the Mothership 2 Subline Eyeshadow Palette. Mothership 2 Subline 
eyeshadow palette and this one is the green one they have them in different colors they all come in different colors and stuff but let me open it up to show you guys what i got and like i said this package or this eyeshadow is 128 bucks i like the fact that it's heavy and it's different they also have a mirror in it and i will zoom in and show you guys the colors these are the colors right here so I just play around with colors and that's what I use today um, on my eyes. You know, I'm loving it so far. You know, I'm really loving it. It's not outrageous or anything. And all these colors are workable. Um, also, the colors have different names on it. I don't know where I put that. But all the colors has different names on it. And, you know, that is really nice about it. You know, it's some good quality stuff. Is it extraordinary? I don't know, cause I am not a makeup artist again, but you know, we'll see, but I'm loving this so far. It's different. So I love that it's different. And um, in my previous video, I stated that, that I, you know, normally I get her lipsticks. So it's different, you know, to have something, you know, other than lipsticks. So, and then I also got a smaller one from her. Now this one, I'm not sure about the price. I will put the link in the description. It was probably like, it could be 30 something dollars. I am not sure, but I will put the link. It's just a smaller one. Again, you know, the colors are not outrageous. It's just, you know, four colors in that. And they're very pretty as well. A um, lot of highlights in there. They have, you know, glitter. They have glitter in the colors. A lot of glitter in the colors. And I think it's pretty as well. So, you know, I'm loving it. It's heavy, but it's smaller. So it's not as heavy, of course. But you can tell that it is a good quality as well. And, you know, so far I am loving it as well. But I have not, I have not used this yet, but I love the colors. So, you know, it is what it is. So that's it for my eyeshadow palettes. I have five new palettes to add to my collection. Moreover, I'm very excited about the colors that I got. They are very easy to work with, mostly if you're not a professional makeup artist. Unfortunately, I think Juvia's Place is no longer on sale, but the prices are still reasonable. If you love any of these colors, I will put the links in the description below. And you can go ahead and purchase the colors that I got. So I will put the link for each one of the products with their names. And you can just click on there and go directly to the website and purchase yours. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you all on the next video.